So a Bernoulli trial is a random process which consists of repeated experiment with these following conditions. First, there have to be only two outcomes. You have to allow repetition as opposed to permutation or combination where you do not allow repetition. And these trials have to be independent trials. So meaning the same probability for each outcome on each of the trial. So let's say if I flip a coin 10 times with a fair coin, or if I try to shoot a basketball goal 10 times, and I have certain probability of getting in each time. So here's the formula. The probability of exactly R successes out of N trials is combination N choose R, P to the R, Q to the N minus R, where R is the number of successes, N is the number of trials, P is the probability of successes, and Q is the probability of failure, which is 1 minus P. So let's look at this example. I have I've flipped an unfair coin 10 times, and the probability of head is 0. 0.6. What's the probability that I get exactly two heads and eight tails? The very first thing you should do when you see a Bernoulli trial problem is to pick success. So this in this situation, I'm going to call head to be success. So you can call tail if you want, and the result will be the same. So here I choose head, so n is 10, and r is 2 because I chose head to be success, so I want exactly two successes. p is 0.6 because the probability of success, which is head, is 0.6. And so q is 1 minus p, which is 0.4. And now you just plug, and the probability of two successes is 10 choose 2, 0.6 p to the 2 number of successes. 0.4 q to the 8 number of failures, and that comes out to be 0 0.0106. So uh, as with the combination and permutation problems, you can also have multi-scenario problems with Bernoulli trials. The logic works exactly the same. You're basically going to figure out all the scenarios that's going to work, and then calculate the each individual probability of each individual scenarios, and just add them up. In the same way, you can also take one, the total probability, minus the ones that doesn't work. And here we're going to see an example. Jimmy has a 70% of making a free throw. What's the probability that he makes at least two out of the four shots? So here I've made the table the exact same way you've seen in 2.3. And here I, I've just basically success in one row and failure in the other row. And I have considered make to be my success here. So I, I just list out the entire sample space. And then we can see that these two are the one that doesn't work because I need to have at least two successes. So I'm, I have select make is as success. Now there are two crosses and three checks. I'm going to use the complementary selection. And so I'm going to take one minus, making at most one shot. Here we have n equals 4, p equals 0.7, and q equals 0.3 across the two. Then the probability of zero success is 4 to 0, 0.7 to 0, 0.3 to 4. And then probability of one success is 4 to 1, 0.7 to the first, and 0.3 to the third. So probability of at least two success is the same thing as saying 1 minus the probability of at most 1. And 0 and 1 are both at most 1, so I'm going to take 1 minus the probability of 0 and the probability of 1 which comes out to be 0 0.9163.